Hello Drones in School, this is Tad Douse here to talk to you a little bit more about our HD goggles from Emacs and the Tiny Hawk 3 Plus HD drone. All right, so I want to show you some extra features that you have available with the HD drone that you don't have with the analog drone and that has to do with that video transmitter from HD Zero. So to do this, first of all, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn on our controller our transmitter so always turn that on before I turn on my drone I'm going to go ahead and turn on my screen for where my goggles would be I've got my got screen disconnected from my goggles but you may or may not so go ahead and turn that on it pops up it starts scanning it doesn't find anything so I'm going to go ahead and power on my drone plug a battery into my drone and it should if everything's working properly it should figure out what channel I'm on and start up my HD feed okay which is great now what I see on there that I didn't want to show you quite yet I jumped ahead go ahead and get out of that what we usually do to bring up our on-screen display to change our video channel is we take our stick, our throttle halfway up, right? And we yaw to the left and we pitch forward. So again, that motion is oop, like that and it brings up our normal menu. So there's my menu, my on-screen display. I don't know if you can see that very well on the screen here, but there it is. And I, I'm actually, you guys already know about that. I can go in here, I can change my profiles. Um, I can change my on-screen display profiles. I can change my video transmitter, but it's a lot of menus. And for most of what I'm doing, I'm just usually just changing my uh, my video ch channel. That's what I need to do is I'm going to change my FPV channel. So on the HD Zero, there's a little easier way to do that that you don't have on analog. And it's a different stick command. Okay, so we're going to take our transmitter and we're going to take our sticks down and in right like that okay so now it pulled up a different menu so this menu has it takes you right to channel it's the first thing because it's what most of the time we're doing right so i can use my right stick and i can change the channel to let's say i want to go to r7 and then i just go up and i'm at the save exit menu and roll to the right to save okay so now i change to race seven so on the back i have these little arrows and that will let me change my channel so i can touch that and i'm going down let's go the other direction there we go there's race seven okay so that's one thing we can do again to bring up that menu it's just both sticks down and in okay and boom the menu pops up for you pretty cool and some other things you can do in there, there is uh, the power. You really don't want to go with more power. A lot of people are like, oh, I want more power. Not really. No, not for these. We're flying indoors. Okay, I also, oh, I just, my battery died. I can go into the LP mode, the pit mode. Um, I have, I can turn that on. I have team race. So team race is something that I can use to make it automatically go in pit mode as soon as i power up it will be in pit mode go ahead and grab me a different battery here hopefully i've got one charged there we go now another thing i can do if you've messed with these little drones very much these little hd zero drones they're really fun, but you'll notice they get a little warm. Okay, it's that video transmitter. It gets a little toasty. So another thing we can do is we can just try to stay in pit mode more where we're just shutting that video transmitter off. Now I could go into the menu here and I could turn on pit mode uh, like so. Just go ahead and turn it to zero milliwatts and save and exit and that put it in pit mode so now i'm 
not using the drone anymore. Now it will go out of pit mode if I arm my drone or if I use some stick commands to bring that menu back up. Another thing that I can do is I can actually take these, instead of down and in, which brought up the menu, I can go down and out. So like this, and that will put it into pit mode. There you'll see my video shut off. So it's no longer being used. Again, to exit out of pit mode, I can arm my drone and it'll automatically, you know, fire up the camera or I can use that same stick command the down and in and that will fire my camera back up all right so a couple little things you can do to maybe get a little easier use out of this little drone uh, it's a great way to just change these channels really quick I like that so much better than digging through all of the regular OSD stuff so hope that helps you out and have a great day